Oh, hello. I thought we were going to have a little I thought we were. Yeah, yeah sorry. Well, well, that just goes to show we need to behave. And we need to stop talking. Yes, yes, we do. Hello, good evening. How are you? And hello, good evening. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. It's John's birthday today, everyone. It's John's birthday. Happy birthday, thank John. You. Thank you so much thank for coming you. in on your birthday. I, I didn't get an option. No, you didn't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've had lots of emails, though, coming in, wishing you a happy birthday. Oh, and if you thank want to do you. so throughout thank the show, you. please feel free to do so. We are launching a brand new one day special. We're super, super excited about this. Um, and if you want to get this into your basket before we even head to the demo area, the details are on your screen at the moment. £39.98. Pence. You're saving £10. This is going very, very quickly. So I'm going to hand you over to John to tell you all at home exactly what Mike and Magic is all about. I, I've been, thank you, Janice. I've yes. been waiting for this for months. Yes. This, to me, is brand new. Okay. I've not seen anything like this. Um, I mean, people can correct me if it's been years ago, but what you've got is Mica comes as a little pot of powder. Yes, I've seen or it. Or as a solid disc that you add water to to take paint off. Yes. Those are your two main options. Yep. Yeah, it's got to be activated with something. It does. Not mica magic, and that's why we've called it mica magic. This is impressed pigment and mica with a cream binder. So this is self-adhesive, straight from the tray. Oh my word. So basically, you can use a brush, a finger dauber, um, you know, your finger, anything and you can pick up and colour in virtually any medium with it. Oh my goodness. So this works on card and paper, as Look, you'd expect. And you still see that beautiful shimmer. You get shimmer. that shimmer. This wood. is sanded. This is wood, oh and what he's goodness. done is, this is kitchen roll that's been glued on with really? glue over the top. Oh, that is brilliant. This is just straight onto wood. the wood and texture paste. This one is wood, and then the flower foam is coloured with the mica oh my word. because it was originally designed for the mica this one i love this is vellum or parchment but if you look at that that is completely flat yes. normally when you try and color you've got some form of water or solvent yes you have nothing in this to do that this is going like an in uh, this is using it as a gilding wax over an embossed surface just with your finger or a finger door. Oh back. my word, it doesn't surprise me John, <laughs> over 10% of the stock has gone in the first two minutes. Wow. We will be getting to the demo area to show you all of these elements but we just wanted to show you a few samples first before we do that because we are incredibly, incredibly busy. So can we use this with paintbrushes? Yes. Can we use this with daubers? Yes. Can we use this with just our fingers, maybe? Yes. Can we use this with blending uh, sponges? Yes. Oh, my word. This is made, this is actually done and drawn by a great friend of mine, Jodie. This background, she used a water brush and took it straight to the palette and took some mica off with the water brush so she could paint with it. Oh, my word. Look at that. Now, you've got two colour um, in here, not colour options because you're getting both. They are the Summer Brights and the Autumn Hues. So just to show you some of the Summer Brights, uh, Sam has put together these lovely tester boards, but you can see that shine in there, John. And this is just onto the new Super Smooth stamping card. Yes. So this isn't onto a pearlised card. This is just onto Super Smooth card. And he's just put these on with his finger. Wow. And, and there is no binder, there's nothing. And the thing is, if I just do this, yes. watch. This is fixed. Yeah? Oh, my word. I don't have to sit there. I've taken a little bit off, but I don't have to seal it. No. I don't have to hairspray it. I don't have to lacquer it. Oh, this is taking it to the next this level, is isn't it? This is just you know amazing now let me show you the autumn colors as well just to give you an idea and some different effects that you can use I love that I mean these two uh, pieces of artwork on their own John. they are I mean some did these again and this isn't any this isn't even all the colors yes because of course you're getting 35 colors per set you certainly so are. 70 in total but this is how it works on black and to me it's really important and that's why we've called it mica and magic yes because we know because of the mica the color works on black as well as white and on all those different mediums and all as those well. different mediums so i'm thinking about using these with your stencils as well beautiful through oh stencils my word. we need to get to the demo area we need to see these in action we are so super busy what a great deal saving 10 pounds 39 pounds and 98 pence 884 654 oh my word apparently it's flying out the door flying out the door it comes in a really nice presentation box mm. you have a lid to it as well i'll show you that demo area you are getting both there's some beautiful colors in there whether you are 
are using this uh, with the autumn colours or you're using the summer brights, you can use them any time of the year. These are absolutely stunning. Now, if you do want to get them separately, you can do. They're £24.99. pence. That's at the bottom of the screen. Why would you do that when you can have both? Saving £10. Maybe you want to buy one for a friend. Maybe you just want to buy extra. That's entirely up to you. But I love the packaging that these come in. So if you are giving them as a gift, we've got that beautiful box yes. already made up. And then inside, you've got the Micra's beautifully packaged and protected as well because you can just close that up love that excuse my fingerprints i was just excited early <laughs> yeah it's the silver i mean they said what would you like on it yes. and i said i just want plain silver craft artist let's tell people who it is yeah but it is really i mean mine are you know I, i've been very lucky and i'm going to be honest here these are new ones that i've got for the show yes because absolutely every sample on here and things i've been making for the last yeah. six months have been made with mine really? and i'm starting to get to the bottom okay um but i will show you mine a little bit later they do not mess up okay but i just absolutely love this so i thought the best thing to do first was just to show you some of the things that you can do. Yes, please. Um, and what hopefully it will replace and make easier for you. So there are no solvents and no water in here. Okay. So we can actually get a gilding wax look. Yeah. Ah. So I'm going to go in with this gold. Yeah. So I'm just going to go into the gold with just my finger, finger to start with. Yeah. So just going in, get a little, pick a little bit up. There we go. My finger's gold. Oh, Over John. embossed card. No polish. Right, okay, that's fixed. Yeah? Oh my god. A little word. brush off. And, and look a little at the bit finish more. that you've got with that as well. So there we've got, there you go, you see? Absolutely. If we get it onto another one, if we get it onto a little bit closer, you can see there. Love all that. of that. Yeah? But I, what I can do is, and this is one I love. So I can now go in and say, well, that's great because I like gold. Yes. And you know, but I might want some red, so I'll add some red, shall I? Oh, wow. And let's have a little bit of red working in there, yeah. shall we? But I'd like some beige. But if you notice, I'm not changing fingers. No, you're using the same, but why I'm is it not this mixing the colours? Because it doesn't. It doesn't? It doesn't. Don't ask me why, because it should, okay. but it doesn't. <laughs> but I won't ask you why. I'll get some red, but I'm going to go into the gold. So I've just wiped it a little bit on my finger yeah. there. But I'm going to go in some gold. Let's add some gold on top because they blend. But none of the red is, none of the red's in the is gold. going on top of the gold. So no. use the red again, just to show you guys at home. So using the red, on goes the red. Now go to the gold, we can show that there. And then I'm gonna lift that up. You can see there, there's no red. There's no red left yeah, on there. There's, there's a tad, that's it. Just wipes off. Because they're not soft and squidgy, but they're not hard. Okay. It is so, so weird. So for a start for me, the thing was, wow. Because I have got fed up with having yeah. gilding waxes that have dried out. Yes. Or if I want to mix three or four colours, first of all, I've got to buy three or four colours. Yes, you do. Then I've got to take the lids off three or four colours. Yes, you do. And I've got to get them out and make sure I don't mix them and don't get... Oh, life's too short. I want to be able to go, oh, I like a bit of purple in that. What happens if I put a bit of purple over that gold? That Oh, look, you know. How I can easy do is this going to be for that. you guys at home now? Yeah. To use all and of I've these got different got colours as a gilding wax, amongst other things. So, for a start there, yeah? And of course it will work on emboss and deboss. Yes. Work on anything. You can use, if you don't want to get it on your fingers, I'm going to use one of the finger daubers. Now, okay. I bought myself a new set of finger daubers about three months ago in expectation yeah. of this. Don't use the daubers you've used for ink. Okay. Because the mixture of ink and this will actually can hurt your dauber. Okay. That's what we found at home. But I can go in now and go, let's get some pink and this will give me far deeper. Now, we're using this on black card, but as John said at the start of the show, it will work equally as beautiful so, on white card, on blue card, well, on green card. But you can see there, but every colour has an element of shine and shimmer to it. Yeah, I love that. Absolutely beautiful. But again, I don't have to have a dauber for every colour almost, because I can go into that pale pink. I'll go into the red, and then I'll go back into the pale pink. But look at that pale pink, nothing. Nothing. Nothing no is red. transferred going from the red to the pink. But you can see by using the dauber, what I'm doing is it's going into everywhere. Yes. So the daubers are perfect for something else I'm going to show you next. Now, we do have a set of 40 finger daubers. They're in a case as well. They're the ones that John's using. £21.99. Um, and you also get the blending petals as well. You do, yes, which are great for blending, adding to the foam, or I've been using those through a mask. Yes. One of the questions I was asked after the Facebook Live is about cleanup. Okay. Yep, so basically... That's it done. 
brilliant. So it's not like you're spending hours scrubbing to get things off. Or closing lots of different pots for all the different gilding waxes yep. you've got and then having to go and get your paints and then having to go and get your shimmer and then it's all then in one place. And adding your spray and yeah. everything else. No. So here I've got a die cut leafer okay. that's on the show. Can I tell you a third of the stock has well. gone? A third of the stock of the one day special in 10 minutes has gone. I knew we'd be busy. I just didn't expect us to be this busy. So here's the details, 39 pounds and 98 pence. You can shop online at hochanda.com. The queues are very busy on the phones at the moment, but you're more than welcome to just wait on the phone. We will get to you. 884654 is your item number. This is brand new today. My word, we're busy. So I've just done that one in gold. So hopefully we can see that. Look. That's great coverage. Straight through. Yeah, okay. So I'll just show you how I did that very quickly. That's it. You'd be a little bit more careful, but... So that's it, yeah? But yep. I like that gold, but it's not quite autumn enough, so I think I might add a little bit of red into that. So let's add a bit more red. Oh. And let's go in with a bit more gold just to tone it down. Oh, Ooh, it's like maple A little leaves. bit of beige, shall we, to make it yes. look more autumnal. Oh, oh, this, that, is this one this is, is like brilliant. a it's like a shimmering sort of aubergine colour almost. Not yeah. aubergine, I can't think of the uh, right like word. Coral. Coral, yeah. yeah. Let's go in with a bit of purple, shall I? Yeah, that is like aubergine. But I can change that colour. With all the different colours you've got there with that all John's the colours using. that you got. So I can change that then. You can see? There you go. Oh, I just want to have a play now. All I that. just, wa I just so. want to stand here and play all, all hour. But I can take this one that I did a while ago. Yeah. And let's, I, I think let's have a bit, let's have that fresher more for spring. So let's add a little bit of green in, shall we? Yes. A little bit of dark green in there. Spray it out. There we now go. Now, the palette we're using at the moment, we're using the Summer Brights, and that's to add all of these colours. You can buy them individually, but why bother? Because you're saving £10 on two. That's with your Summer Brights and the Autumn Hues. This is just, amazing. So, But that's black. Yes. Yep. So I think one of, the, one of the unique things I found about this was what happens when you actually use stamps. Okay. So, I'm just going to very quickly, because I should have been prepared. I always say I'm going to be, I'm going to excuse it, that it's like I've been eating chocolate all day. Now, talking of stamps, here's a heads up. We've got a fantastic set of stamps available for you on the show. We'll bring the details up. We will be going over to them. But just to give you a heads up, I want you to have a look on the website, or we're going to show you. We've been very busy for these already. They are absolutely stunning the detail is mind-blowing it's incredible uh, these are photopolymer stamps the detail is incredible it really really is and when you see these being demoed when you see the different ways that you can add your inks and you can add your magic micros you're going to love these i think they're wonderful i really do and they're only 26 pounds and 96 pence for all four and we are using one of them right now aren't we john this is the winter what i've got here is a piece of vellum okay yeah? so a piece of thin standard vellum yes yeah? Nothing, nothing spectacular, nothing special or expensive. Okay. Now, normally, when you're using embossing inks, this is the Eyes Ink Clear Embossing Ink. Yeah. With mica, what you do is you stamp it down and you get your little brush and you brush it over. Yeah. And you brush your excess off. Yes. Yeah, and it only ever goes where the ink is. Yeah. And if you want to have it lots of two or three different shades, you have to do one shade carefully. Yes. Get the excess off, then yeah. do the next shade. Yes. You no. Know? With the mica magic, what it's done is, because it has its binder, it has this magic effect, mm -hmm. so it will stick straight away to the vellum. Okay. Yeah? But where I have the clear ink, it will go darker. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put that on. I just want to give it a couple of seconds. Okay. So just give it a couple of seconds to dry. So you can hardly, you can hardly see this. I've used the clear one, so it's very, you know, it's quite, you know, you can't see it particularly clearly. But what I'm going to do is just simply Take my finger and I'm going to go into a little bit of the purple and you can see we're going to reveal the image. So, okay. I think I'll decorate, there we go. Why oh don't we have word. those? Oh, and I tell you what, should we have the stag in the middle? Yes. Should we have him in blue? Oh, look at that. Oh, is that one of these magic drawing books? Okay, and let's add a little bit of the shimmer blue into him and let's show a bit of green on his antlers there look how easy this is to change colors and now it looks like some vintage newspaper print or vintage um magazine print or painting or postcard yeah. just by adding all of these different colors but because i'm not having to put any of them back in 
I'm not having to worry about what colour I use. So, oh look, I like, oh, I like that snowflake in that dark blue. Let's have another bit there of that. But let's go with the lighter blue and blend it on. And then the really dark blue there for the winter bit. Add a bit of red. Oh, let's add a bit of red, yeah. shall we? Let's go a bit of red there. Let's oh. add a little bit of red there where it says winter. Yes. Oh, this is brilliant, John. Pull in a little bit of pink, shall we? Now, imagine how long that would take you if you had to mix all your, your powders up, if you had to get all the binder in there, use all your different brushes, just using your finger going from one colour to the next and building up this fabulous, fabulous and image. And then when I slide that in, oh can you see goodness. there? But what you're getting is you get this beautiful inky background as if you've created an inky background but you've stamped in different colours of the same over it, darker shades. That's incredible. What a great it idea. It just strikes me every time. As soon as I saw this, it was actually Jane Smith who discovered this sort yeah. of element of it. Yes. And as soon as I tried it, I went, oh, Jane, you're a genius. Absolutely love that. And there's your background. There's, and that's on vellum. There's your background and your foreground on vellum. But look at that. That is as flat and as smooth as it was to start I with. absolutely Because love there that. is nothing in there. There's nothing, there's no water, there's no solvent. It's a cream base. Imagine your Christmas fairs. Imagine all the items that you're going to build and create and give or sell at Christmas time. And now how easy it's going to be to make them different. And to do them very, very expediently as well by just using your finger and going from one colour to another. You don't have to wipe, you don't have to wash in between. And you've got two sets. You've got the summer brights and you've also got the autumn hues as well. So you've so got both use. of them together and we're now going to use some of the autumn hues and you're saving 10 pounds you can buy them individually but your one day special my word we are so busy 40 percent of the sock has now gone in 17 minutes whoa wow we we did bring a lot because i thought i'd like it i um, bet you any money <laughs> catherine is watching at home she's scrambling to the phones right now she actually had a look earlier and we said yes it will work on air dry clay yes, catherine thought for edging her flowers and adding that, that finishing would be perfect. touch yeah. yes that so would be perfect this is this oh we've had a question oh, yeah. from Anne. sorry john can you paint with micromagic so can you use brushes and how intense will the colors be what you can do is the way that my friend jody did it mm -hmm. because i've had we sent palettes out to about six or eight of the angels to say, see what you can do, you know. Don't just take my word for it, let's everyone play. Um, Jodie came around yesterday, what she'd done was she took a water brush straight to it and pulled colour out. Yes. What she said is, you go for the more pigmented ones first. Yes. Because the ones that have got more of a sheen and shimmer yeah. will actually give you more of a little bit of a gritty paint okay. effect. And they will give you a beautiful soft colour. You won't get, you'll get an intense colour if you build it up. Okay. But what I would say is your best thing to do is to use your finger or a dauber first. But yes, you can do that. Anne. Perfect. And you said that they will work on the air drying clay. They will, yes. I think I've got some um, air drying clay in the lounge made into some like nuts and things. I'll bring them through yep. for the next show. Brilliant. So one of the things that we've always wanted to do, or I've always wanted to do, is this is a piece of scrap from when I cut the autumn leaves that we've got on the show. I love yeah. these. So this is just scrap from cutting the, the, the dies for the show and okay. for, from cutting these. Yeah. And we've always wanted to stencil through our die cut shapes. Yes. But of course, when we're using ink, it soaks into the paper. Yes. Eventually, that mask, within one or two goes, will be ruined. Yeah. This I've used four times. Have you? Yeah. This I've used four times. You can see the mica on it. So you can now use and shade through and colour through your own made stamp stencils in card. Wow, from and this the is waste, just in the 300 over. GSM essential card on the show. Now, we do have these dies available for you. Uh, the bottom of the screen, we've been very, very busy for these already. We've not even gone to them yet. £14.98. pence. They are your acorns and leaves and autumn leaves. 23 dies in total. And I'm sure you'll agree, just the leaves themselves, looking at them there, um, are absolutely stunning. I love them in the different sizes. So, all I'm doing is like you do with a stencil. I'm picking up, I'm not changing daubers no. between each one. It's one of the reasons I love having 40, because I do start to mucky them. <laughs> but I'm basically mixing colours through. Going through, there's a little bit of an autumnal shave, shade. 
So let's, oh, I like that one. Let's add a bit of that onto there and a little bit onto that onto there. Do you know what I think this is going to do for you as well, John? It's give you confidence. It mixing is. Mixing your colours, having a go. A mixed media project Without, well. yeah, without being funny, I certainly, if you're starting out and you're starting out with colours, I know, and I shouldn't say this, that Nikki ran upstairs at six o'clock to order hers because that's what she was doing. Yes. And if you are new and you've never used colours or you've been afraid of it, yeah. I don't know how else you can get something so flexible. You can get 70 colours at that price. I know. It's Without being funny, but it's, you've got You're 70 right. colours. 70 colours. Now, hang on a minute. I'm just going to go back here and just lift this up because this... Is it balsa wood? It's wood. No, yep. it's normal wood. It's normal wood. Uh, just to show you there, we broke a bit off uh, to show you that it is I did. Wood. Yes, sorry, Sam. I was, I was just trying to get away with no, that. No, no, no. He's already spotted oh, it. Sorry, Sam. Um, but this is regular wood and the micro, the magic micro straight onto it. Micro magic straight on. Micro magic straight yeah. onto it. No binder, no gesso, no prep, no nothing. Wow. Straight on with a dauber. So this is wood. How about MDF? Yep. Oh my word. I'll show you, there is a piece. Do you, I think we've got some great MDF shows coming up tomorrow. And Ooh. these would be fantastic because I believe they're like Christmas decorations. Oh, perfect. So these would be absolutely perfect for yeah. that. Abs absolutely spot on. So, right, I've gone through this stencil, yeah? Yes. So we'll take that off then. I'm gonna just leaf this out for a moment. There you go. If we look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Now, we'll dust off the excess. But that's done. Isn't that lovely? And that's fixed. But I look, I feel for the first time mm. as if I've been arty. Definitely. And I've been artistic and all I did was randomly cut some dyes. Yeah, and put them on there. And put them on there. What a lovely background that would make. Yeah. What a lovely background. Again, then, then maybe cutting out some of the leaves as well. And adding some of those. Ooh. Oh, John, that's fabulous. Or how about if you did the stamp? Yes. You did the background in the blues and purples, you did the stamp, and then you cut some leaves in vellum or parchment. Oh, that'd be lovely. And then you coloured it with the mica magic and a little bit of the glitter touch and that we had last week. What a lovely week. background that would make. Yeah, but you can do that. You, anyone can do that. Can I ask a question? You can. We've talked about the different um, materials that it will go on to. Would it go on to fabric? We have to, I've tried it on fabric. It yeah. isn't going to be permanent on okay. fabric because you're going to machine wash it and it's going to come off. Yes, but, but yes, it will go on to fabric. It colours ribbon. Okay. So leather? it will colour seam binding. Leather? I've not tried it. I'm just thinking Thinking with some of the things it would go on, mm. I don't see why not. I'm thinking if you emboss some leather and use it in your craft projects for yeah. your mixed media and maybe for the front of books and things like that, or craft metal. Yes. Yes. I've, we've not found very little. We've not found much that it won't go on. I mean, this is... Take, this is a, a, a random piece, literally, of MDF okay. that we went through from my MDF box. Yeah? An M. I don't know what the M was for. <laughs> I think I probably had a Sam at one point. <laughs> but, again, I can just go... Oh, look at the coverage. And then you can have, like, an ombre effect. Yeah, so we'll go down to... They blend. The, the blending shades in here yes. are almost next to each other. Yeah, they are. So you'll see that you can find the next colour down almost going next to it. So you don't need to use any gesso anymore? No, I'm not to. using anything. I've, well, you've seen. Yeah. And that's not, you're not picking a lot up. On no, that door, I'm not. But it's you've got a lot of coverage. Yeah. Let's go with a bit of brown, shall we? Because I'm using very light colours, because I think it's fair not to say, oh, tell you what, let's use a, you know, let's use a, a really dark colour, because that's easier. Yeah. Would it go onto parchment? Yes. Oh, I'm just thinking if you've got some of your groovy projects and you want to add colour, you could use let's, these perfectly. But let, let's put an edge on this, shall we? Let's put some black on the edge just to age it. Yeah. Because you've got black and white included in both palettes, because those are your mixers. Oh, you've got my favourite colours in here as well, like the verdigris. Is it verdigris or verdigris? Verdigris, yeah, to always, me. Always get that wrong. But, um, yeah, you've got your different, like, turquoises and greens and blues. But oh, my be. goodness. Shall we add a little bit of a metallic sheen to the top? Yes. That you can see. John, you're spoiling us. But that, to me, I look, I feel as if I've been clever. 
<laughs> do you know, I do. You have been clever. No, but by doing this, I feel like, you know, I watch some of these shows, I think we all do. Yes. I think that's amazing. I, I can't achieve that. I don't yeah. know which colours to mix. Yeah. And I haven't got enough colours. And to be honest, for me, I don't want to have loads of paint out. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have blobs of paint everywhere. I'll get it stuck on me. So. Now, how would we make, if I wanted to use this perhaps, right, I found some furniture. Yes. Over the weekend, really nice wrought iron. Oh, table that was and chair. beautiful with those flowers. That yeah. was such a bargain. Cannot believe you two carried it home though. Half a mile. I know. Oh, everyone was laughing at us. And I thought at first you'd, it you'd was been really heavy. You'd, you'd, you'd exaggerated, and then I turned. I told Sam, and he went, "No, it is at least half a mile yeah. between there and their yeah, house." It is. And oh my word, it was heavy. However. Because of the leaf patterns that are around the chairs, we were going to paint it. But I'm thinking to bring the pattern out, maybe I was thinking like gilding, wax or yeah. something like that, and then making it uh, waterproof. Could I use these and make it waterproof? Yeah, just use way? them and make it waterproof. Just give it a spray varnish over the top. Oh, my word. That would be fantastic. But just so there, I've put so there I've put a, a bit of black on that I'm yeah. not too keen on. Doesn't matter. I'll just no, shade either. it out. And then if you use the white, does that go lighter? Each one, because it's mica, it's why we call it mica magic. Yeah. Mica has in it, it's not just pigment. Yeah. What the mica does is the mica creates its own reflective surface. It sort of flattens. Yes. So whatever you put on top will yeah. stay. I mean, if you get into the close-up, you can actually see my fingerprint. Yeah, we will, there. actually. I think Jimmy can get a shot. There you go. There you go. There's my fingerprint, yeah. But that's straight, you know, and then blend that out but that I feel fantastic. like if I hold this one up because hopefully you can see the difference you can actually see there we go look at that straight onto MDF using no undercoat using no gesso whatsoever how easy is it now for you to get that professional finish on your air drying clay on your polymer clay um, on your MDF on your paper on your wood on your vellum Oh my word, practice, experiment play. when you get these home and have a play. Uh, but of course, you do need to get these home. We are very, very busy. A good question, actually. Is, well, it's, it's like how long's a piece of string? Yeah. But, um, how long, well, you can't really say how long they're going to last because we don't know what projects you're going to do. But can you indicate the longevity? It's very difficult. There is no shelf life on them. Okay. So there is no shelf life of saying, and I've had this with products myself before, where you actually sit there and you, if you don't open it for four months and when you open it, it's solid. Okay. Or it's gone completely dry. Yeah. There is no shelf life like that. I have had one sample, and yeah. it's actually the sample that Jodie was working with, yes. that has been sat in my garage, my craft cave. Yes which is not particularly airtight or anything, or wasn't since January, which is when we first got our very first sample of this through. It's how long these things take to develop. So if I'm thinking about and buying... And it was absolutely fine when Jodie used it last week. So if I'm thinking of buying these f as a Christmas present and just oh. keeping them to one side for a couple yeah. of months... No worries. That would be absolutely yeah. fine. You may find there's a colour you get to the bottom of relatively quickly because you, you love it. You use it all the time, yeah. yes. But the idea is if you look through the pattern you can see if I bring this one in hopefully there you can see if you look through the palette you can see there are similar shades and tones which is what gives you first of all that beautiful blend so you I know that that and that will blend together and that and that will yeah. but if I really go through all of that I've still got that that and that yeah you do you've got options because I did have a couple of questions from some of the angels saying could we buy individual if we use out of a color okay and what I said to them is the thing is the value in here is because of the size and yes. how much we've packed in and getting the packaging case. To actually do a single colour and package it, you could end up paying two or three pounds minimum yeah. for one colour. It's not worth it. No. So they're done as the set palette and you just change the colours as you need to use them. It is an amazing deal. We are extraordinarily busy. We really are. Please get this into your basket and check out if you do want it. And to give you a chance to sort yourselves out and to get all that sorted before we head into some more demos, take a look at this inspiration.
Amazing, isn't it? It really is. And seeing the demonstrations there from John it just inspires you. You want to get these home and start playing with them instantly. Uh, so many of you checking out your baskets. Thank you very much for that. 45% of the stock has gone. That is huge amount of stock to go because we had a huge amount of stock to begin with and it's only 6.30, half an hour in. Oh my goodness, it's a one day special. Uh, right, you are getting 70 colours in total. You're getting your summer brights and your autumn hues. There are 35 colours in each one. When John was doing the demonstrations, he went from one colour to another, either using his finger or a dauber, and none of the previous colours was left behind. These are incredible. Put them straight onto MDF, put them onto wood, put them onto vellum, put them onto card. Use them as a type of gilding wax to raise uh, to highlight the detail that you've embossed. I've got a little card set here to show you of all the different ways that you can use the colours. You can use them with a stencil. How amazing is that? Think about all the different things that you cut out and then all the stencils that could be left behind that you can now use. Use it as a style of gilding wax. How lovely is that? And the shimmer is so beautiful, but very subtle as well at the same time, depending on how you're going to use it. Use it on black card, use it on white white card, use it on vellum as well to add that lovely delicate detail just in the background to highlight different parts of your stamps. You're now building and creating your own background. Now that looks like a Technicolor postcard from many, many years ago. It's not. It's one of the stamps that's available on the show from John, but also then coloured in just using a finger or a dauber with those beautiful magic micras. You can use your fingers, the daubers, you can use blenders, you can use brushes as well. The different effects that you can get from here are incredible because of the different colors you get to use. Think about your flowers. Think about the foam flowers that you get. Try it on your different materials like your craft card. Try it on your craft metal as well. Um, here's a lovely example, just lifting this up. Uh, this is by Sam. Uh, and isn't that lovely? These are just die cut out from the dies we've got available, the acorns and the leaves. They are available at the bottom of your screen, only £14.99. But fabulous detail. And when you have detail like this, you want that detail to stand out. So using the Magic Micras with this in those different blues, don't, don't they look delightful? And it really does make them stand out. It does indeed. Whether you're using these on uh, your MDF, another sample I'm just going to bring in as well, also by Sam using those dies that are available in the show. I think this is superb. And this was just directly onto MDF. How about butterflies adding detail in there as well? Or using different effects for your mixed media in different colours. We are so, so busy for your micro magics. We've never seen anything like it. This really is truly remarkable and you're taking advantage of that great £10 discount whilst we've got it. 39 98 884 654. Those are all your colours, 70 in total. 70 colours. That is an amazing deal. I'm going to ask our lovely Ross to divide 39.98 into 70 and we'll see Ooh. what that is. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, 57 pence each, my word. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. That is actually crazy. Um, please do get these into your basket because we are extraordinarily busy for your one day special. And because we are now 24 hours a day, seven days a week on Freeview, it gives people a chance to watch the show across the evening and into the early mornings. And it does mean that, of course, more people watch and the stock does go. Sometimes we have sellouts overnight. People right. come in at different times yeah. of the day. They work shift patterns. Some people can't sleep, they wake up. And so they turn on the TV. We're always there for you now. Turn on the television and sometimes you go, oh, I missed the show earlier. I'll get that in my basket, even at two o'clock in the morning. You'll be amazed the number of times yes. that we actually switch on. Yes. You know, when you know it's sort of like about nine o'clock at night, the TV just goes poor. Yeah. Or to me it does. So we end up flicking through and we, we're often watching you or watching a repeat and yeah, I'm always saying, add that to my list for next time I'm in. <laughs> and I don't bother, I just ring up and order it, but then there that's why yeah. I have my freedom membership. So now you can wake up with us and you can go to bed with us. We you know when you go to bed at yes. night, sleep. Retract that comment. Yeah. I don't, and know, if we're, I don't know if we're actually soothing voices enough to lull people to sleep, but you know, <laughs> we can try. We can, but it's great news that we are 24 hours mm. a day, seven days a week on Freeview. Right, can we talk about these stamps? Yes. Oh my word, John. 
I love that. In fact, I've got goosebumps thinking about these because the detail is tremendous. It is. When we actually put these through from 2Js to the manufacturers in the UK, mm. on two of these stamps, they actually they sent the samples to me to test. And they said to me, could I actually ring them once I'd tested the samples yeah. because they have never produced stamps with such fine line detail. Well, what you're seeing now on your screen, it's those that two. is not a print. No. That has been stamped out using the stamp. And I'm saying that because when we came into the studio to prep, um, our producer says, oh, these are nice prints, but can we actually stamp them out to show them? And John said, that is the stamp. That's how perfect and define the detail yeah. is on these. It is. These are just stamped out as they stand with black Onyx Black's ver Black Versafine onto the new Super Smooth stamping card. That's it. So they, it's, it's not printed, but that level of detail. But as I say, the manufacturers were really concerned about the amount of lines that had been put into these designs. I love them. Um, I absolutely love I, them. I think they're beautiful. And to have the four collages of spring, summer, autumn, winter, yeah. I think it answers so many different things through the year. And you can cut elements out. And all. I just... I, just adore these. Yeah, I really they're beautiful. Do. Uh, use them as a background. Use them as a stamp, and have that as the card in compl um, complete. Uh, have we got a sample here? Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, adding colour to these as well really does bring out the detail. Now they've sold out individually, only available as the set, but they're only twenty six ninety six. That is an incredible price for the detail that you're getting, and I know you're going to get a lot of pleasure in Christmas time in particular using this stamp. Such a wonderful image. It stag. is. I, it I really think is. the stag is very strong and bold in there. Yes. But you've got that winter across there. You've got the sort of postmarks. You've got the snowflakes, the scratching, the text across. I just think he's such a strong stamp on its own, but works beautifully as a background. It does. Yeah, I, I, I just loved these. I was so pleased when I got them. And when they worked and I was able to say, yes, please go ahead with production because they, uh, they've just come out beautifully. They really, really have. No, I love the autumn one. Very, very nice and very apt. That because was my we favourite. Are into the autumn. But again, you can see how different they look when you use different colours, especially if you're going for your Magic Micras as well. Whatever you're using, whether you're using your inks or drawing out your watercolours, whether you're making backgrounds or cards, or I've just seen a great sample. Is this a collage of all of them? This is a collage of two of them. This is the summer and the autumn. Wow. So the two look at those complex. together. Now you could have that that way, uh, landscape or portrait, doesn't really matter, does it, John? No. That's fantastic. But it's, again, just stamped on the stamping card, and it's so crisp and smooth, and it's just, Sam actually made this one. Do you know something? It's like those posh rice papers that you get, yes. and they cost well, lots and lots of money. It is, because this, if I can lift this one up, this has been done by Tom, who's yes. one of the angels, um, but you can see there, what he's done is he stamped it onto a very thin piece of like, almost rice paper, a little bit of tissue paper, coloured it with a mica, and then he added it to the candle. There's another that one here he's done. That is amazing. But I again, love that. With the autumn. So all you but need to get is plain look, rice paper. It's plain rice paper. He's actually used plain tissue paper. Okay. You want, to my mind, what I used to use, I've done this technique before, yes. I use the cheapest tissue paper you can get. Yeah. You know that really crappy stuff that they, I shouldn't say that. Wow. You know that they wrap in shops when <laughs> yes. you buy plates? Yes. When the you really go to crappy stuff. Yeah, when you go to that shop, the, the Swedishy one. Yes. And they've got all the, the, the to wrap your plates in at the yes. end, the really thin white stuff. Yes. Use that, it's the best ever. Yes. Yeah, wrap uh, big, buy plates. Yes. <laughs> Apologies. Sorry. We'll move on. Shouldn't have it's said fine. that word. It's fine. It's fine. It's just a word, isn't it? Right? It is. It's a word. It's, it is, it's and it's true, and you, you know me, you get what you yes. see. Yes, it's just a word. Uh, a third of the stock wow. has gone. A third of the stock has gone. These are amazing. Uh, build up your backgrounds, collage them, have them as black and white, use the colours on there. I find these absolutely fascinating and you're going to love these as well. And if you're using these, maybe some fabric ink. Ooh, oh, my word. Block moved round on fabric. Yes. That would look beautiful. That really would. Yeah. John, you've done an amazing job with these. Very, very busy. 024976. Moving swiftly on. <laughs> uh, it's John's birthday today, everyone. John's birthday. Happy birthday Thank again. you. Happy birthday. I normally try and keep it very quiet. And Aww. Sam said, right, you work in your birthday. I went, oh, well, we'll keep it quiet then. He went, no, we won't. No. We want you to have a very happy birthday. Very yeah. happy birthday. Uh, right, what have we got here, John? Right, so these are new. These are brand new launch tonight again. So yes. no one's seen these. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are my autumn leaves and my leaves and acorns. Absolutely lovely, um, John. Now, these are designed to be, if you... 
to work like this. So this is basically just using inks. Yes. A little bit of mica magic in black around the edge to shade it. This is all doing the mica magic. So again, I've cut out these pieces yes. in craft card. I've used the bit that's left over on the background to make as a mask. I've coloured the, ri the ring with it. And then I've coloured all of the leaves using the mica. That. Um, just simple. That's the same. That was using the scrap pieces from the other card. That's a really nice 3D it, style. It's got effect. a really classic, simple. But if you look, it's actually very flat. Oh wow! It looks far deeper than it is. Yeah, it does. But Gives what I've done when I designed these was this is one of Sam's again. Oh, and that's using the stamps. That's using the stamps. Yeah. I just love that juxtaposition of the plain white and black yes. against the sort of because you'd expect that to be shaded and that to be plain. Yeah. It works. But with the dies again, these have been designed so that they will cut. They will give you a deep, crisp deboss of the vein lines. Yes. So you'll get that on the acorns, you'll get that on the oak leaves, you get that on the sort of maple style leaves. But they will also work in your foiling machines. Okay. So you can actually foil with these. Oh. So you can foil all of that deboss line. Oh, that'll be gorgeous. So again, so, so it's a new one for you, Janet, who's watching. She loves foiling with the rose yes. foil leaves. Aww. But you can foil with these, so you'll be able to foil all those little pin pricks on the acorns, foil all those details. But I wanted to put sprigs of berries in. I wanted you to have the leaves and things. I wanted you to be able to really build it up. Yeah, you can. Um, and I love foliage. Yeah. I absolutely do. I really love these leaves. I really do. So much detail in there. And as we saw earlier with the micro magic, it really picks yeah, that out. Yeah, it does. Out. And these have just been cut. They haven't been embossed afterwards. So you know normally people say well, you cut a die and then you have to emboss it. Yes. These have been designed so you don't. So with a good machine, all these lines came out with just cutting it. But I will show that in one of the demos, probably at eight o'clock. Oh, please! But yes. you don't need to do, you don't need to emboss to get this detail. So you cut it once, cut and the it. detail will come out. Yeah, you just cut them, and the detail will press in. Wow! Oh yeah, look, you see. I had to think then. Yeah. I was like, how how on earth do you do that? But, but of you normally you would emboss it, but you don't have to. Yeah, they've you been would. designed for that because they've been designed to make sure they'll foil as well as you've got a foiling machine. How useful is that? That is only fourteen pounds and ninety eight pence. That wonderful set of dies. Two one two eight six four. Very very busy on that. Right, so we're moving on because we've got more to show you. Um, and. Just here, now these have been very, very popular. Let's talk about these because these, we do have some at the demo area. We do, yeah. These went, uh, were absolutely massive when we launched them. I think like, it feels like it was a week ago, but I'm sure it was longer ago than yes. that. So this is the new Glitter Touch. Okay. So this is part another new product from um, Craft Artist. And this is a glitter in a quick dry gel binder. But if you see here, all the glitter around the edge, this is on top of the Mica Magic. Ah. So if you tried to put glue over the top and put glitter around, yes. you're waiting hours for it to dry and it wouldn't. But that, all that shine is coming and of course it works perfectly with the mica. If you can see in the flower, these are vellum flowers. Are they? This is white vellum and this is cheap white vellum. I use the cheapest I can get, <laughs> sorry guys, but I do. Yeah, coloured with the mica magic, but then the glitter and sparkle is added from the glitter touch. Oh my but word. if you see, it has not warped the vellum. No, not because at all. Because it's a quick drying gel base. And that's what we've been doing with Craft Artist is working really strongly to get sort of non-solvent and almost oh. non-water based base products yeah. that mean that we can do this. This one is one of the autumn stamps. This is actually all coloured using the glitter touch. So you can, and how would you do that? Would you use like a brush or something, Well, John? if you hold that there a second, yeah. I'll show you because... Isn't that lovely? Look at the little sparkle detail that's in there. They come with the brush already. Oh, okay. So what you get is, you get your little tube inside, yeah, with your glitter touch in, your little silver craft artist again. You twist it. There's your brush. Oh, it's like a little lipstick. And it has a one-way void. That's brilliant. So when that goes in, yes. that reloads it. Yes. When you tip it up, it doesn't pour out. Perfect. And then all I'd do, so if you can get onto my hands, sorry, Jimmy, just to make this really difficult for you, but say I want to colour in. Let's, uh, let's add another, let's add a layer of green onto that. Yeah. There we go. That's it. That's all you do. Oh, and that, that is, is dry in about two minutes. Wow. If that. So with this, you get the metallic and you get the basics in this. You get three in each, or is it four? Yeah, you yep. get three in each. Yep. So you've got the silver, the gold, and the copper in one set. 
and then in the other you've got luscious green you've got the clear and you've got the black so you've got the basics and you've got the metallics 14 pounds and 98 pence that is worth the investment it really is you're saving five pounds on that deal two nine five seven Eight, uh, 798 is your item number. Let's take a look at the website. We're heading back to the demo area to show you more. Um, we are very, very busy for the one day special, uh, but here are the other items that you can get or maybe add to your basket. Maybe you want your basket to go to 60 pounds or more so you can divide the cost into two today. We'll do that for you. Um, if you want to, it's going to be entirely up to you, of course. Uh, check out the daubers, 40 finger daubers for £21.99 and you've got a box. And you also get a uh, blending petal as well. I might talk about that in a moment's time. Now, we've got some great essential cards on the show. Go and check them out. We've got some card here at the demo area, so we'll talk you through what you're getting. But it's incredible value for money. It really, really is. Right, back with John. Can we talk about the card for a moment? We can, yeah. It actually started with this one. Okay. Um, I've been working with the mill that delivered us the flower paper and working with a few other different mills and companies, trying to find a stamping card. Um, what I mean by stamping card is a super smooth polished oh my word surface now from speaking to them they we, we call the black smooth a, a super smooth it is but it's not a super no if you feel that and then feel that this is polished oh that is lush so in the mill it's an, i think I, i'm not even sure how they do it but what this is is 300 gsm yeah so thick strong i like 300 gsm yes. card um, and it, we call it the super smooth stamping card because it's so smooth that it takes your ink. It takes an imprint. There is no pits in the surface. Ooh. So that's how we got those images that I stamped earlier. They were so clear because I was using the super smooth. And I've been looking for a long time with a no chalk base, beautiful, smooth finish. Now, if you just stay, if I bring that in, so this super smooth is what you've used with the stamp. The super smooth is what I've used with the stamp. Look at the detail. So and that's what gains me all that detail because there's no pitting. Yeah. A lot of card actually has little pit lines in yes, it. Yes, yeah. yeah. So um, this is designed to be perfect for your super smoothing. If you are, for your stamping, sorry, if you're an alcohol colorist, yeah. I mean, I'd love to alcohol color those. Mm. This has been designed perfectly for you, so this will take alcohol inks, your copics, your pro markers, your graph masters, whatever you're using. It also means, because it's 300 GSM, it leaks through but not very much. Okay. So it's got a lot of strength to it. So we started with that one, I wanted that one, and then because I use a lot, I said to the mill, um, I said, right, we can do a 40 pack of that. I said, right, well, in that case, can I have a 40 pack of black as well? because black is a banana to find. Because <laughs> that was the new word we christened last time I was on. Instead of me saying the usual B word, I would say for something that's difficult. Uh, you, right, OK. Yeah. It so is it a is banana. a banana to find. Yes. A decent, pure, dark, nice black, smooth 300 GSM card. Does the black run all the way through? Yes. I'm going to ask you that, because it's important. Let's have a look at the core of the black. Ah, yes. Yeah. And that is very important. It's the first thing I tested. Yeah. But because I make my own card blanks and I make bigger projects, I said, well, could we have A3 size as well? OK. So we had them both done as A3 as well. Oh, amazing. So super smooth, 300 GSM, yes. smooth black, 300 yes. GSM, yep. 20 sheet packs of A3. Yes. Which is what I make my own card in. And then the one thing I felt was missing, and I, I really... It sounds awful, but you... We do a lot of this in isolation. You sort of work on it, and I've been working a long time to get the card. Yeah. And you, you do work in sort of isolation of thinking, well, I think it's good. But the one last thing I wanted was watercolour card. OK. So when I got the watercolour card, I unpacked some here today, and I gave a sheet to Lou Withers. What did she say? She went, can you get me some? Did she? She picked it up, she felt it, she went, can you get me some? <laughs> and I suddenly felt vindicated that I got something right. Yeah, you know because, what you Because, you have. know, somebody is right. But that is a beautiful cold-pressed watercolour card. It is. It yeah. really is. And we've been able to get that as a 30-pack. Oh, my goodness. For again, for the same price. Well, go and check out all of the different cards. At the moment on your screen is the information for the watercolour card, 9 99 That is beautiful. If you are a watercolourist, you're going to enjoy using that. But have a look at all the different options you've got, especially that super smooth. Right, we're back with the one-day special now. Shall I Oops, move yay. those? 
Thank you. Half the stock of the one-day special is gone, John. We are I, yeah, I nearly said words I seven shouldn't o'clock, say. Fifty that. minutes into the first uh, launch. Where shall I put? Oh, I'll hand those to lovely Ben. Thank you, Ben. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. I don't know what to say actually. Sorry. I'm, I'm I'm really pleased everyone's liking it. Hopefully as much as I am. I mean, I'm absolutely. These are genuinely. amazing. You wait till you get them home and use them in all kinds of different areas of your crafting, for colouring, for highlighting texture with your embossing folders yeah. my word just it's just amazing it is yeah. magic yeah. which is why we call it mica magic so i've just got in my eyes ink embossing ink and this is the, the little star and sort of dot stamp from my box kit which yeah. i think might still be on the website because we added an extra one on for people because it sold out as the monthly deal and all i'm going to do is just roughly stamp across the top a few snowflakes and for a couple of seconds you'll see them yeah. because the ink is slightly shaded a little shade of green until it starts to dry oh, yeah. yeah so we can see if you catch the light right yeah we yeah. can see that okay so i thought what we'd actually do was i keep doing everything on black and it's because you know it's great because you can use black and yes. we you know i can't pick up inks i can't pe get my eyes inks i can't get my eyes ink you know, dye inks and go on black, they're not going to work. So that's why we tend to use it. So this time, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take, oh, can I take yes, that of course one? You can. Sorry. Remember, you're getting both sets. You're getting the Summer Brights and the Autumn Hues, 70 colours in total. So what I'm going to do is just, with the blue at the top, there we go. So I'm just adding a little bit of dark blue. I'm going to blend in then the next blue down in the palette. Yes. Because the palette kind of tells me. But you can see those snowflakes coming clearly. Do you know how you're putting that on, John? Do you know, it look, you know when snow is falling and you've got, you can actually see it coming down? Yeah. And then you've got the snowflakes. That's that beautiful effect you've got there. Right. Like that. Okay. I'm going to go into a little bit of the lightest green. Okay and add some of that in. We do like that effect. And then I'm going to go into a little bit of the purple and just finish that. It's like the Northern Lights. Well, that's what we're going to try and achieve. Ooh, the Aurora Laura Dora Borealis. So, add a little I bit of green on it. the top. Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. And then, all I'm going to do then is get some red. Yep. And we'll have some orange, shall we? Yeah. And we'll have some green. And we're just taking the colours. Which one are we using? We're we using these. This is summer, summer brights. brights. Yeah. Yep. So, and somewhere in one of my packs, hopefully, because I was going to cut one, and I haven't. So, but I was going to put one of the um, sort of polar thingies over it. Yeah. But you can see we're starting to get then the northern lights and that looks so magical that down. something you'd like to see on a special Happy day like your birthday, birthday to you oh wow happy birthday dear john i hope we don't have to pay for this <laughs> change the words yeah, well, yeah, this yeah, cake yeah. was obviously made by myself. Not really. Yay! Sam, lovely Sam, organised it for you. Isn't that the best cake ever? That is cake best ever. ever. That is beautiful. So let me just put that down there and then... Well, I'm hearing in my head I have to say thank you to Susie Chandler for the cake who made it. So thank you, Susie. That's amazing. Aww. Yeah. And this is for you and me to share. No, okay. you, Okay. No, I was just yeah. hiding the brand. <laughs> So maybe we can have oh, a little beverage later. Yes, thank Happy you. Happy birthday, you wonderful man. And oh, next, come oh, on the TV. You never come on TV. Because <laughs> it's a special occasion. Thank you all so much. Oh, thanks, that guys. is, thanks oh. For I don't know what to say now. Thank you, everyone at home as well. That's lovely. Oh, I'm just hoping we oh and I can smell them. I oh, know, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think yes. we're going to have to give some of that cake. We're going to have think. to be careful where we yeah. cut it, though. Uh, right. But yes, I'm seeing you in the next hour. Definitely. But good evening, Ho Chandra. Right, should I, do you want me to move this out of the way so it's safe? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that is amazing. Isn't that amazing? Oh, thank oh, you, guys. Wow. Oh. 
Happy birthday. Here you are. Shall I put that that way so they can't? Yeah, we'll yeah. put that that way and that there. Thank you. I oh, thank you. Right, so I'm, I'm quite, I don't oh, know what to say now. You. That's well, not like me. Well, we've got two me. minutes left of the show we've had an incredibly busy hour this is something that we've never seen before it really is amazing these micro magic palettes you've got your summer brights and your autumn hues 70 in total they're amazing to use just sit there use your fingers use them on all the different fabrics and material when i say fabrics your different craft materials like your craft card black card white card vellum wood straight onto mdf use your daubers with these if you want to but have fun when you get them home and get astonishing results 884654 is your item number we are so busy how much of the stock has gone our Ross over half the stock has gone another live hour coming up at 8 o'clock remember we are live now 24 hours a day seven days a week on free view and that's why we're busy and it works out to be 57 pence per color this truly is amazing John. It, it really is it's the fact I can do that it's you know I can go into I mean, you can understand now why I'd bought some, I, I myself a full new set of daubers for these because yes. I knew I w what I was going to be like with it. Um, but it's the fact that I can go, you know. And make backgrounds. Make use them for your mixed media projects. <laughs> use them to highlight your embossed images with your embossed folders. Take them to a whole new level, especially if you're doing any kind of mixed media work with steampunk images. Oh, Turn black wow. card into a metal looking substance it really is incredible it's just and it, it's the fact that it's things like i can go through over that purple with the green but i'm still seeing that darker shade yeah. but it i just love the way it works and of course we're getting that beautiful shine well we're going to be back uh, well nikki will be back with you at eight o'clock tonight john thank you so much no happy thank birthday you once again. thank you uh, we'll see you in a few moments time but please do check out your baskets we've had a very very busy hour